Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here once again with you. This time I'm talking about binomial probability problems. So let's take a look at some probability problems that uses a binomial distribution. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. All right, so let's suppose that an archer can hit a bullseye 70% of the time. So if you looked at my geometric probability problems video, I'm using the same context here. So we're going to assume that each shot is independent of the others, but this time we're going to consider the case where she shoots, she shoots, Sally shoots, she shore, she archer. <laughs> if, that's the, um, she's going to shoot 10 arrows. So this is different, and I want to kind of talk about the difference between geometric and, and, and binomial a little bit here. The difference in geometric is we're looking for our first success. In a binomial, we're looking out of a certain number of trials. So we're doing out of 10 arrows. Um, so we're actually looking for the probability she gets a certain number out of those 10. So we have an N. We have like a, I won't, don't want to say a sample size, but we basically have a group that we're taking out of. So um, we're going to say N. N is equal to 10. Now the formula for a binomial is the combination of n items taken k amount, so n choose k, the number of successes is k, so n items with k successes, times the probability of success raised to the k successes, times the probability of failure raised to the n minus k successes. So it's basically the number of failures. It, the, the formula looks kind of tricky, but it really isn't that bad if we take just kind of understand what we're doing here. What is the probability that she gets four bullseyes? So she's going to get four bullseyes. So how many successes? Four successes. So she's going to have four successes out of 10. So anytime we have a situation of four out of 10 successes, we're going to need to use our combination here. Now, some of you might know this is NCK. So it might be in your calculator as NCR. So that's what you're going to need to use to calculate that part there. And you're going to have to find that out and either use one of these. I don't know if you can see this on the little screen. You got to use one of these little guys here, or you can use the TI Inspire have a video on that one if you want to take a look at on my YouTube page for that video. Anyway, let's take a look at here. I'm really just showing you what you need to do in terms of putting your work down. So we're going to have we're going to have um, N. 10 choose 4 okay 10 six, 10 total items 10 arrows that we're going to shoot four successes so we're going to write that like that 10 choose 4 that's our ncr here times the probability of success which is 70 percent we got that right here that's p so how many successes i'm going to have four so i'm going to raise it to the four how many failures i'm going to have I'm going to have uh, six failures. So if the probability of success was 70%, the probability of failure is 30%. We just take one minus 70%. Now, remember that if you have this situation, I see this a lot of times on errors with my students, is that if you have this situation where you have um, this type of problem, I see a lot of students miss and forget this piece. Okay, they'll write this down and they'll try to take that as their probability, which it really is not. That's not their probability because you forgot to multiply by the number of combinations. 10 choose 4. All right, so we're going to do that in our calculator and we're going to get 0 0.0368. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. What is the probability she gets seven bullseyes? So it's the same situation here. I just wanted to give you another example using the same type of thing. This time, n is still 10. So n, let's change the color here so we can see a different one. n is still 10. This time, we're taking seven successes. So we're going to have, again, we're going to have the, the probability of success raised to the number of successes times the probability of failure raised to the number of failures, which is 7, 8, 9, 10, right? These two guys right here should add up to the top number. That, that's an easy way to remember that. All right, so what are we going to get? We're going to get 0.2668 when all is said and done in your calculator. Again, I have a video on how to put this in your TI Inspire. If you need to, you might need to look for a video on how to put it in in, in here, I'll need a document camera if I was going to show you that, but um, I don't have that right now. So um, 
let me just, I'll quickly tell you. I don't know if you can see this. Here, let's see. Put it to the camera. Okay, you know what I'll do? Check this out. I will use my little camera here. Here we go. All right. Oh, where is it? Right there. There you go. Okay, so back up a little bit. To find the NCR, all right, to find the NCR, you're going you're gonna to press this PRB button. PRB. All right, you click that. And see, there it is. Look at that. NCR. So TI30X, NCR. Now, what you're going to need to do that is you're going to need to put in your first number and then NCR and then your next number, okay? So, like, if we were looking at 10, choose 4, I would type in, um, oops, I would type in 10. So, you see there, there's 10. 10, and then I would use the PRB button. All right, PRB. And then NCR. Let me get rid of that plus that you guys saw there. 10, N 10 NCR. All right, 10 NCR. And then you would do 10, choose 4. So put 4 in there. And it looked like this. Let's see, get that straight there. Uh, look at that. You see glare. There we go. 10 NCR 4. Hit enter. And then you should get your answer there. So your answer is 210. So that's what you would multiply by the other parts. All right. Okay. What is the probability she gets at least three bullseyes? So we're looking at what's the probability she gets at least three bullseyes. Now, at least three bullseyes means that she's going to get, um, just, just writing down the possibilities, she can get three bullseyes or four bullseyes or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten, right? What she's not going to get, she's not going to get zero, one, or two bullseyes. Not... She's not going to get 0, 1, or 2, but she is, if she's going to get at least 3, she's going to get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. Now, to do a problem like this in a binomial situation, we would need to write out all of those binomials, um, all of these things right here. Okay, we'd have to write all of these for each one, not red, green. Okay, for each one of these, each one of these, each one of these, and then I'm going to add all those probabilities together. Um, or, or we're going to take the part that's not, which is, which is a, a, only a few of them, and we're going to do the probability of those and subtract one because we can use the complement rule. So that's a little easier because I only have three to deal with instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those to deal with. And I don't want to have to you know, write all eight of those out and then add them all together. I'll just write these three out and then subtract one from that. So I'm going to subtract one. From, and I'm going to write all three of these out. So I could if I wanted to do 10 choose 0. But knowing that she's not going to make any of them, that means it's going to be 0.3 raised to the 10th, right? That means she's going to fail all 10 of them, 0.3 raised to the 10th. Plus, now I have to put in my, because now, now it's 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10 is 10 choose 0 times the probability of success raised to the number of successes times the probability of failure raised to the number of failures plus 10 choose 2 times the probability of success raised to the number of successes number of failure probability of failure raised to the number of failures remember that those two must add to the top number there so 8 for some reason I can't make an 8 there's an 8 there we go there's an 8 all right and there we go so we're going to do that all in the, we got to do these all in our calculator and then we got to subtract that from 1 that is going to give us a probability of 0.99841. Okay, so let's take a look at another example just like that. Hopefully, we'll get that in your head. Okay, so what's the probability she gets at most eight bullseyes? So what's at most eight bullseyes? Uh, at most eight bullseyes means that she's not going to get she's not going to get more than eight. She's going to get like up to eight, right? So she's going to get, maybe she can get none, or she can get one, or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight bullseyes. But what is she not going to get? She's not going to get nine or ten bullseyes. This is what she's not going to get in this situation. So notice again, we've got the, a similar issue here where we could do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can find all those probabilities for each of those, add them all together, but that's kind of a lot of them. It's much easier if we take what she's not going to do and subtract that from one. Let's go and do that. So one minus the probability that she makes nine. That's 10 out of nine. So we've got to use a binomial. 
0.7 to the 9th times 0.3 to the 1th. It's not really a word. It's first. I just decided to use the 1th. Um, you could say 10 choose 10. 0 0.70 raised to the 10th times 0 0.30 raised to 0. That is okay. You can do that. It works. But 10, I'm just going to tell you right now, 10 choose 10 is just going to be 1. And 0.3 raised to the 0 power is 1. So to save you the heartache of getting that incorrect, we can always just say she makes all 10 of them in a row, which is 0.7 to the 10th. All right, which in this case, we're going to get 0 0.08507. All right, so that's how we do these binomials when we have a bunch of situations where we have to add those together. Last problem for this video, guys. How many bullseyes do we expect her to get? Expect is average. So we're looking for the mean. And the mean for a binomial is n times p. So n is 10, p is 0.7, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, 11 bullseyes. 11. I said 11 and I wrote 7. What was that about? 7, 11. 7, 11. All right, maybe I need to go get a Slurpee. I don't know. Maybe that's in my head. Whatever it is, guys. Okay, here is binomial. Seven. If I get seven out of 11 Slurpees, what's the probability that I get that? Hmm, it's a binomial. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. And there we go. There's some binomial probability for you, problems for you guys. Mr. Myesis, Myesis Math out. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.